Hello and welcome back. On the last episode, we only just solved uh, the most recent puzzle for Lai Wen and introducing Jimmy, who appears to be following Lai Wen around because he has a crush. But that's pretty much it, really. Porque siempre me pasa esto. And two more people are now introduced. Simply as, um, oh. Let's go with the new ones. The 20,000 pesos, and here I come. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. My name is Carlos. I'm 18 years old. Okay. It was a big day because I was finally going to leave Mexico. Uncle Depp, uh, who has always helped me out of the orphanage, and uh, Auntie uh, Benita, who was uh, a, a, a matron at the orphanage, uh, used to tell me that if I ever wanted uh, to go to a foreign country, I would need uh, to have a passport first. And then I would I'd need a visa. Finally, I could go to the airport and buy a ticket. Then I could I could fly wherever I wanted to go. I'd gotten my passport, uh, and apparently going to Hong Kong didn't require a visa. All I needed was a plane ticket. Uncle Depp and I uh, headed out early before the sun even came out. I, uh, he had been driving me through the mountains for six hours to get to the international airport. He then stuffed a couple of warm uh, burritos wrapped in, uh, up in paper in my backpack uh, before I uh, said goodbye. I didn't know when I would uh, ever see him again. I already missed him. I uh, walked into the airport and I couldn't help slowly uh, slowing down in admiration. The place was so big. Uh, no wonder the tickets were so expensive. I need to ask someone uh, to tell me uh, where I could buy a ticket. I bumped into a man, into another man. The three boxes he was carrying uh, all fell to the ground. I helped pick him up. Uh, I helped him pick up uh, the boxes and stack them. I hope nothing inside got broken. The man was wearing a pair of glasses and, uh, with golden frames. He seemed like a nice person. He took the boxes out of my hands and was not mad at all. He just noticed and walked away. Oh, he nodded and walked away. He was really nice. Even though there were no, uh, signs at the airport, I couldn't read at many of them. I walked around twice before I could. They found the ticket counters. A ticket cost over uh, uh, t uh, ten thousand pesos, just like Uncle Dup uh, had told me. I had all my uh, savings with me, including the money my parents and sister had left me, and well as what I had earned doing part-time jobs. It was only a little uh, over uh, 20,000 pesos altogether. However, something had happened. I couldn't find my wallet. So when you, yeah, when when you were helping picking up the boxes, uh, you were pickpocketed, I'm guessing. I clearly remember checking it to make sure I had it when I left. Maybe I dropped it uh, in Uncle Depp's car. I ran outside the airport. I saw the man uh, whom I bumped into earlier. He was still wandering around with those three boxes. Was he lost? But I didn't have time to worry about him. I had to go check to see if Uncle Depp had already left. I couldn't find him anywhere outside the airport. He probably had. He probably had headed back. Oop. I had to walk around the mountains uh, along the road uh, that we arrived on. I had my backpack on, off, uh, feeling awful. It wasn't a uh, popular road, and it was already too late. There were no cars in sight. I had hoped that I could uh, get a ride tomorrow morning. Lord, why am I so unlucky? Uh, what is what is Mexico? It's a big country in the west. West? To our west? But do we live in the east? No, of course not. We don't live in uh, uh, their worlds, so there's no east or west to anywhere. The, east, uh, the earth is a round planet, um, so the east or west is all relative. Relative? You're not making any sense. 
you mean uh, the Mexican uh, people can uh, say uh, their own country is in the West too? Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, now she's confusing me too. Then again, no. Generalized maps don't really say that. But, yeah. Oh, by the way, the writers of uh, the earlier letters, they all... Uh, are they uh, from China? I always feel a strange sense of clo uh, closeness when I think of uh, China. Mexico makes uh, feels more distant to me. Why is that? Uh, I guess more people write uh, to us from China, maybe? Or because you kidnapped us from China, and China's our home. I don't trust you. I hear the Chinese people uh, are all over Earth. Um, there are a lot, a lot of them in every country. Really? So is this letter written uh, in Chinese too? As well as the earlier ones? Because they all look the same to me. Oh no, this is our language. In fact, the people who wrote it came to us uh, many... The people who wrote to us com uh, came from uh, many different countries. And they would uh, use different languages. But once they we receive them, they are all automatically translated into a language that we can understand. Oh wow, being a god is con so convenient. Carlos. Okay, next letter. My name is um, Chang uh, Giyong Min. I'm assuming I'm uh, pronouncing that wrong, as always. But I do like your theme music. I'm assuming you're the box for carrier. And recently I graduated uh, from the Korean Police Force uh, Academy. Nice. I'm 23 year old, uh, years old. It's my first day reporting in the Busan Police uh, Precinct. I hadn't realized that I had overslept uh, until my spotty alarm clock uh, had uh, gone off for the 10th time. I jumped out of bed, slipped into my uh, pants and shirt, and rushed out, uh, out of the door with my coat in hand. I even knocked over uh, uh, my neighbor's flower as uh, flowers by accident. Sorry, I'll clean it up later. I'm running late. Still, I was 45 minutes late when I finally I got to the station. The captain was sitting uh, behind a desk. He squeezed a, a kid these days out of um, his mouth, and he seemed to lose any energy or interest to even speak to me. Then, I was transferred to the archives. Oh. Is, uh, there we go. As computers and the internet become prevalent in our daily lives, important data such as identity and residence information all have been turned into electronic records at the police department database. The ability to quickly retrieve necessary information from an infinite ocean of data is crucial uh, quality of being a responsible police officer, especially when dealing with time sensitive criminal uh, uh, cases. P.S. Don't stick your uh, password under the desk. Okay, cool. Back. Oh no, I need it. Oops. How could I overslept on my f uh, f oh, on my first day? Please, brother. Please, uh, 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 please help me fix this, please, please. Becoming a uh, member of the criminal investigation department has um, has been my dream since childhood. I don't want to go to the, ar the archives. What was in criminal investigation? Is that much uh, better than archives? Well, criminal investigations uh, in the place where the police try to solve um, cases and catch bad guys, but you can't completely disregard the archives either. Chang Yeung Ming. Again, apologies if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Time to start. Okay. Seems simple enough. Um, I noticed there was a sign ahead. Although I couldn't read it, I had a feeling that, uh, that it, it must be pointing uh, to a ticket to encounters. I had always had uh, great instincts, haha. Uh -huh. uh, a ticket cost over uh, 10,000 pesos, like just just like Uncle Death had told me. I had all my uh, savings uh, with me, including the money uh, my parents and sister had left me, as well as the uh, what I'd earned from part-time jobs. It was just uh, only a little over uh, 20,000 pesos altogether. I hoped I would be able to come back uh, someday. Three hours later, with a booming noise, the airplane took off. 
I felt something suddenly uh, push me into the seat cushion. Uh, I could see Mexico. Uh, I could see Mexico City becoming smaller and smaller outside the window. The orphanage uh, in Monte uh, Tlaco. Uh, I'm assuming it's pronounced how it's pronounced. Tlaloc, yeah. Uh, I had turned into a small uh, white dot. So I suddenly started to feel nervous. My mind was racing. What if the plane went down? I hoped it, uh, it would fall into the ocean so I could swim back in uh, with the seatbelt thing. Uh, but this seatbelt thing was so annoying, and if I couldn't untie it, uh, would I be dragged into the water with, uh, with the plane? I heard there was something called uh, insurance. That would pay a lot of money if someone uh, died. I should uh, get a start. I, should, uh, I guess I should get that and maybe um, it would be enough for Alicia to buy a new house in Mexico. Okay, so Alicia from the intro is related to Carlos. Okay, in some way. Just then my brain it was spinning in with all these questions. A beautiful lady asked me if I would like some water. Oh no, no, no. I checked my wallet again. Um, there was only a little over uh, 10,000 pesos left. The peso is the currency of, uh, that is common in countries uh, and regions of former Spanish colonies. Uh, the most widely, uh, widely circulated one right now is the Mexican peso, coded MXN. Um, in addition, there is also a Cuban peso, CP, and Philippine peso, PHB. Um, uh, since the Mexican peso is not considered a world currency, some regions around the world uh, has to be exchanged into US dollar uh, before being exchanged into the currency of a third country. Okay. From, that, uh, from now on, I must be careful about spending every single one of them. I had everything that uh, was really expensive in Hong Kong. I must save up before I find Alicia. Alicia, sister, I'm coming for you. Uh, the Lord will bless us. I had the voice of a woman uh, screaming in the crowd. Stop him. He has my purse, so yes. The, the man you bumped into, Carlos, was indeed the thief. I looked down at the man uh, I had bumped into was holding a woman's purse. I accidentally tried, uh, he actually tried put, uh, pushing me away. As a policeman defending justice, how could I let a criminal escape the judgment of that law, law, of the law? I grabbed his collar. Take this. I took the, uh, the man to the police station. I ended up uh, there, of course, but the captain left me off with a hook for uh, stopping the robber. Captain Gong uh, glanced uh, at the bloodstains on my shirt. He gave a faint smile and asked me uh, why I wanted to become a police officer. I stood up straight and put my hands up behind my back, held my head high and replied firmly, to defend justice. The captain scratched uh, his bald head and smiled. Aha, uh -huh. go and report to Unifor. What? Unifor? I felt my heart uh, start to sink. I had heard so many uh, rumours about Unifor, even when I uh, still had the police academy. Cool, done. Uh, my sister and a case of kidnapping. Um, we don't have we don't have Chang's face yet, so let's go for Chang. Oh, they're, they're linked again. Uh, the office wing of the Criminal Investigation Unit Four looked like a small warehouse that hadn't been organised in forever. It was crowded and messy in the first place. Then almost every desk. It had stacks of files that were at least 20 centimeters tall, as well as all kinds of evidence and other random items. I stood up straight and it gave a salute. There we go, there's a face. Uh, Chang Geong Min, Min reporting for duty uh, at Unit 4. There were only two people uh, there besides me. One of them was wiping down his rifle. He looked at me with a strange, examining look on his face. The other man uh, the one had dark circles around his eyes, which made him look like he hadn't slept for days. He was looking over some files. Judging from his seat, he must have had the infamous uh, Lieutenant of Unit 4, uh, Kang... Baekje, uh, uh, I'm assuming? Lieutenant Kang gave me a glance. Uh, with a half-smoked uh, cigar, uh, cigarette in his mouth, he then mumbled, You over there. 
I followed the direction I was looking, uh, so the desk uh, that it seemed to be referring to. Many old bags uh, from McRonald's were, sta <laughs> were st uh, stacked on top of it and filled with leftovers and, uh, and trash. It was also directly opposite the bathroom, fast, uh, facing it. Uh, it was okay as long as I had somewhere to sit. I was about to ask Lieutenant uh, Kang what I should do next when the phone on his desk rang. He took the call, put the phone down and announced uh, to us that there was a gang-related hostage situa uh, take, uh, situation two blocks from the station. I never thought my, the, my opportunity to defend justice would arrive so soon. Lieutenant Kang put a cigarette in the ashtray and stood up. I followed him. He grabbed his coat and asked, Hey, new guy, have you got your gun? My gun? No, not yet. Then where do you think you're going? Stay by the phone. Take notes if anything comes up. Don't speak too much. I can still help without a gun. As a policeman, I swore to defend justice and to prevent all offences against people in poverty. Oh, property. Justice? Ah uh, ha uh. Kang burst into laughter before I could finish my sentence. You think justice is going to uh, block a bullet by from hitting you? Well, kid, I've seen plenty of idiots like you. In, in my unit, there's only one rule you need to remember at all times, which is to follow the orders. <laughs> yeah. uh, that wasn't what I meant at all. I was just trying to help. Uh, first day on the job and I was already having uh, such a misunderstanding with my lieutenant. But before I could explain myself, Lieutenant Kang continued. If you have a problem with staying uh, by the phone, you could just go home. And don't bother coming back uh, tomorrow either. I'll let the old man know. After they, uh, after they had left, I sat down at my, at my seat opposite the bathroom. As my nose was catching glimpses of the faint smell, I left out a defeated sigh. When I'd been to the police academy, people uh, would always uh, have the understanding uh, smile and have their face, uh, have an understanding face on the uh, on their f understanding smile on their face when they uh, whenever uniform was brought up. Everyone had heard some uh, all sorts of rumors about uh, that, this place. Lieutenant Kang was an infamous uh, uh, dictator uh, of the criminal investigation department. Everyone must follow his orders without question. He had a, a peculiar personality that. And he was extremely rough, even cruel with criminals. Besides, Lieutenant Kang was a lot younger than the other unit's lieutenants. Therefore, many people speculated that the lieutenant had only gotten his position because of nepotism. As a result, no rookies ever wanted to join the uniform. As for the unit that everyone had dreamt of getting into, uh, that would be have to be Unit 1. Unit 1 had over 30 officers, and it would be widely considered one of the best units in the department. Yet, here I was, assigned to Unit 4. I was sulking when the phone rang again. There was another hostage uh, case in... Uh... Uh... Dong? That's a guess in how I pronounced that one. Um... Since no, was, uh, no one in Unit 4 was available, I suppose it was my time to shine. I hurried to the scene uh, in 10 minutes. It was a 10-story uh, apartment building. I could vaguely see two people uh, on the ledge of the rooftop. People told me that they uh, were a married couple. The husband had borrowed too much money uh, from loan sharks and couldn't pay them back. Uh, that was why he uh, wanted to jump off the building and he had forced his wife up uh, there with him. Well, let's see how I, Chang Ge Yong Min, uh, could brilliantly solve this crisis. One of his feet was already... Uh, off the edge of the ledge. He was holding a knife against uh, the frightened wife's neck. I walk over there. Stop, I'm telling you to stop. He got riled up and his right foot uh, missed the ledge. He fell over the edge and dragged his wife with him. What, no, oh wait, no. Uh, before I could even have a chance to talk to uh, him down, both of them disappeared out of my sight. It was a terrible scene at the bottom of the building. Even though uh, I was 10 uh, floors above ground, I could I feel like I could still smell uh, the blood. It almost made me sink. I stood there in shock. For the first time, I finally recognized what it felt to be a real policeman. Oh god. What the hell have I done? Could I have been, uh, been any, uh, could, I, could I be any more uh, stupid? Please, butter. Please let me have another chance, please. Chang Geo Min. Okay, Carlos is done. Because somehow this is linked. 
Is this where we're going to get a gun? Hong Kong was different uh, than I'd uh, imagined. Back home in Mexico, everything was so colourful. But Hong Kong was just grey. Grey streets, grey buildings, grey store signs, and grey homeless people. And there was me, sitting in the middle of them, looking, old, uh, looking odd. I never knew that pesos couldn't be exchanged into Hong Kong dollars here. When I woke up, I found a few more coins by my feet. I had, uh, I had to take them, I must survive. None of the homeless people uh, seemed to uh, like me very much. Perhaps they could the only get half as much as I, uh, coins as I could. I had a big sister named Alicia. Uh, she was nine years older than me. We both grew up in the orphanage in a uh, 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 Monte uh, uh, Tlaloc. It was a rural place and you had to travel four kilometers to get to the nearest town. Um, Court, uh, court, uh, court effect, uh, just to make a phone call. I couldn't remember anything about my own parents. My big sister was the, uh, the only person in the world uh, I had in this world. Nine years ago, Alicia had le left Mexico to make more money. She used to write letters every three months. Every time the mailman came, I could, uh, would be so excited if she, uh, uh, to see if there were any emblems with my name on it. Even though I couldn't read much, uh, Auntie. Uh, Benito would always read, read read them to me. Alicia didn't seem to have any uh, the easiest time, but she had seen uh, seen so much out of the outside world. And by reading her uh, letters, I felt like I could see what Alicia had seen as well. I could almost feel like I was in the uh, I was right there with her in the big, new, interesting, and fascinating world that would have been I uh, never been seen before. However, we'd stopped in hearing from her about a year ago. Her last letter came from Hong Kong, so I had to ask Uncle Depp to find a, a tutor for me to teach me how to read and speak a little of the local language. I had worked so hard uh, to make more money and, and uh, for the trip. Oop. Uh, I had done uh, all uh, this just so I could come to Hong Kong, even though I wasn't sure if, if she was still in the city. Still, even if there was. Just the tiniest hope, I would never give up. I knew I had to find my sister and make sure it, that she was okay. I had uh, to arrive at Pitt Street. P Pitt Street had been uh, on the postmark of Alicia's last letter. Maybe uh, someone nearby might have seen her. For a year ago, before I left, I left uh, Auntie Brunetta had given me an old cell phone. I had pulled up a, a picture of Alicia on the phone. I held the phone and asked uh, people uh, door to door if they had seen uh, my sister. I couldn't tell if they simply couldn't understand me. Um, they would have their hands. Uh, they would uh, wave their hands at me every time before I uh, barely even spoke. Uh, almost halfway through the street, I found myself behind a huge crowd of people. Thick, dark smoke was coming uh, out of the building nearby. People were shoving and uh, running from out of it. More and more people had started gathering on the street. Many of them were even talking, uh, taking pictures on their phones. The fire truck finally arrived. My cell phone suddenly rang. My cell phone felt odd to the ground. My cell phone was vibrating on the ground. Then it fell uh, through the storm drain. No. The sewer, uh, sewer water was flowing rapidly in the drain. I had held it onto the, uh, onto the drain and tried to get my best to look down. Maybe the phone was uh, stuck somewhere. I looked for a long time and even uh, tried to reach in with my hand but I couldn't get it. I was so tired, disappointed and desperate, I couldn't pre uh, pretend anymore. I felt, I felt to the ground feeling like crap. The cell phone was the most valuable thing I had. I uh, had only the picture of my sister on it. Lord, please help me. I didn't really, uh, I didn't know if I could ever find my big sister without it. Carlos. Okay. Um, fell to the ground, then rang out, but also swap these around. Let's see how bad it goes. Um, 
I tried to talk some sense into him. I told him uh, that he could always earn uh, back the money. I said I still have. Uh, I said he still had his uh, wife's full support, and she wouldn't give up uh, just yet. I even tried to ask him uh, if, if I would. Uh, sorry, hold on. Right, I asked him if he'd like some uh, doll's heart. Uh, bip him, uh, bip him back for dinner. But none of the techniques I'd learned uh, from the academy worked. The standoff kept going. The wife, uh, the wife was clearly f uh, physically exhausted, and uh, she looked like she was mentally drained too. Honey, uh, if you really want to die so much, let me go uh, with you then. I hope we can both uh, be happy in our next lives. She grabbed the knife on her neck and cut her own throat open. Oh, okay, and blood gushed out. Then she collapsed onto the ground, um, and that uh, colored red on her own blood. The man's face was covered in blood. He seemed to have lost the ability to talk. He slowly knelt down and took the knife out of the woman's hand, and then, like it, he had completely lost his mind. I couldn't let that happen a second time. I sprinted after him a few steps and kicked the knife out from his hand. I pinned the man down on the ground. I, uh, he looked at his wife's body, which is only half a meter away, and slowly losing its warmth. Then he wept. Neither of us had expected the situation to turn out like this. I was uh, suspended due to the serious consequences caused by my recklessness, unauthorized actions. Someone quickly ran past me and bumped into my arm. My phone was knocked out of my hands uh, and stopped under the man's feet. The fire trucks hadn't arrived yet. However, the man uh, in a black, black trench coat seemed to uh, have summoned a lot of people to help the fire with the fire. He picked up my phone and uh, with his left hand. It was ringing with a joyful ringtone and a little cartoon lamb dancing on uh, happily on the screen. The man tossed uh, my phone back to me and I lost myself in the melody of the little lamb Billy. It was Alicia's favourite song and she used to sing it uh, she used to sing it uh, to me all the time but I didn't realise I had forgotten to uh, answer the phone until it stopped ringing. I called back and it was uh, Auntie Benita. She was calling from a, 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 a convenience store in a Coatepec um, and she wanted a uh, she wanted to check if I had any news about my sister. She, she uh, told me that the client was once I found her. Besides Alicia and uh, 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 Benita, really had a, was the kindest person I'd ever met. Once I got a real job and became rich, I promised I would take care of her and the orphanage. I left the crowd and walked to the next street, asking uh, the pedestrian about Alicia. So rank A, right? Uh, okay, cool. How about that? Yeah. Because this time, this time he's getting closer, so he can prevent it, right? Stop! I'm telling you. He got riled up, uh, and his right foot missed ledge, and he okay. Never for a single sight. Fortunately, oh sorry, yeah. He got riled up and uh, fell over the edge and dragged his wife. Wait, no! Before I even had a chance to talk to him, both of them disappeared out of my sight. Fortunately, the fire department had set up a cushion below. You moron. Uh, do you know how big of a mess you have made? That case was not even under your, your jurisdiction. Back at the station, Lieutenant Kang was outraged. He was yelling at me so loudly that the entire building could hear him. The hospital had a, a, a called and informed us that the couple was okay. However, the wife had been four months pregnant. And they, oh, that's unfortunate. I was suspended due to the serious consequences of my reckless, unauthorized actions. Um. Okay, so yeah. Let's try this. It was all the chaos in front of the burning building. I put my cell phone back into my pocket and left the crowd. I walked over the next street and asked the protection of Alicia. Rank D, rank A. Okay, Frank Dean A. Again, two fails. Uh, cool. Uh, someone quickly ran past me, bumped into my arm, and my phone knocked out of the, uh, 
my hand and dropped to the ground. I kept spinning ahead and almost fell to uh, the storm drain. That was close. It was total chaos in front of the burning building. I left the crowd to the next race, asking some predations about Alicia. Rank D and rank A. Is that the same one? Is it two, two, right. Two, uh, two, two, two rank Ds, okay. Cool, um. Sure, let's swap them out. Phone kept ringing. Who the hell uh, could it be called? Uh, they called me at this godforsaken moment. I was about to bend over and pick it up. The man suddenly got riled up and waved a knife uh, at me wildly. Don't move. Don't answer the phone. His wife saw the chance uh, as the knife left his neck, and so she uh, bit the left wrist as hard as, he, uh, as she could. He dropped the knife out of uh, in pain. Then she ran and hid behind me uh, for cover, and I picked it back up. The man suddenly began walking, uh, wailing like a child. Sue, even you are abandoning me? Fine, I'll just go by myself. He raised the knife and cut his own throat open. I didn't even have uh, enough time to react. I was suspended to do this. Okay, cool. Fire trucks hadn't arrived yet. It was total chaos in front of the burning building. More and more Indian people uh, were being carried out of the building. The man in black uh, trench coat uh, seemed to have summoned a lot of people and put out a fire. I wasn't injured and I had on my limbs. I thought I should go and help too. I walked towards the man. Excuse me, I would like to. A huge man in the back uh, suit appeared in front of me and blocked my sight. The suit uh, guy seemed to be twice my size. Um, he looked down upon me and I could see a, a deep scar on his face. Help. I swallowed anxiously and I had no idea what to say next. The suit guy had uh, held up his hand and pointed at, at somewhere behind me. A truck, of fire, uh, uh, a, tr a truck full of fire extinguishers has arrived. The fire was finally put out, uh, put out by sunset. I had sat down on the stairs at the bottom of the building, exhausted and I was covered in dust and ash, head to toe. All of the injured people had been uh, sent to the hospital. The man leading the team had already left. My stomach was rumbling. Man, if I could only get a free meal for helping out, uh, put out the fire. Okay, B. Okay, so entirely, somehow I left all that one, all the... I'm missing four. Why am I, how am I missing four? Anyway. Um... I'm gonna go this way around, swap this around. Nope, still bad end. That's not why I wanted to click. Nope. Oops. Anyway, stop. Try this way. It was told to chaos in front of the burning building. Fire trucks, uh, firemen, fire hoses. Uh, the fire department had taken charge of the situation. I walked to, the, to a fireman nearby and asked if there was anything I could do to help. Foreigner? He asked. It, uh, he asked as he looked at me. You shouldn't uh, stay here. If you, we don't power this fire today, we'll be uh, we will be dying a thousand deaths. He saw my confused look and added, You're new here. Um, this is the headquarters of the Black Dragon Gang. Uh, the most powerful gang in the area. Yes, our gang. Bad people. The gang's uh, in your country, right? Uh, they're... So stay away from here. Lee... Oh, there we go. So we can't click it. First established in, um, in Lin Dexu, Black Dragon Gang has gradually become the largest local gang organization in Hong Kong. The gang itself is almost uh, inseparable from the business uh, businesses from under the uh, Lin Co umbrella. Its reach includes drugs, firearms, underground gambling, and so on. It used to be one of the, uh, the two major gangs on the island, along with the, the Blood Gang, whose motto is Blood for Blood. However, it quickly grew to three times the size of, of its rival after getting into the drug, drug smuggling business. Nevertheless, Lots of young people still choose the Blood Gang because of the uh, emphasis on loyalty. Uh, leave, just go get some soda or something. Um, see. Okay.
There we go, just go this way. Um, okay, hold on. Um, there we go. Oh, no, that's way. Okay. Still wearing D. Okay, hold on. So. Wearing C. Right, you need the fire truck. Right, so that's rank D. A uh, B, sorry. Um So many bad ends. Um Phone suddenly rang. How about that, right? We'll just... D. Open over there. So, uh, you're going to have to jump again, I think. Oh, no. Every little... Right, hold on. D and bad. Oh, what if we just... What if we just don't do anything? Yeah, what if we just make you not do anything at all? There's total chaos uh, in front of the burning building. Fire trucks, firemen and fire hoses, the department uh, taking charge of the situation. I walked up the fireman nearby and was about to ask if there's anything I'd do to help, but before I opened my mouth, another fireman quickly ran past me and knocked the phone on my hand. Another one behind me uh, then immediately stepped on the phone. The screen cracked into pieces. No! Find my next uh, me picked up my phone and uh, foreigner, you could use some day here. If you don't put the fire out of the day, they take your phone get out of here. E how about how many bad how many different endings are there for you? Right, so S is the only one for you I haven't got. Right, but what if you do nothing? That's rank A, and that's rank D. I keep I keep leaving back and okay all right so um the fire truck right yeah fire truck arrived a. Bad. So you need you need to walk over here at least to get A. Bad. 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 Okay, so you need the fire truck to become an A. Uh, you're so bad. Um, rank A, rank D. Rank A, rank D. 
bad, it's bad and bad. Um, yeah, I'm going to end up cutting to find out where I'm supposed to be going. So, yeah. Okay, and Rod's finally good then. Who the hell could be calling this after taking a moment? Turn around and answer my phone quickly. It was from the station. They told me something important that happened uh, to the unit. I must uh, get back as soon as possible and wait for their instructions. I hung up the phone and turned around. Only realized the couple had disappeared from the right ledge. Fortunately, the fighter moment had uh, set up a cushion below. You more do you know what the mess you've made? The case wasn't your, uh, even under your our jurisdiction. Back at the station, Lieutenant Kang was outraged. He was yelling at me so loudly that the entire building could hear. The hospital later complained, yeah. The couple's okay, however, the wife has been saved the baby. I suspended, yeah. Damn. Someone quickly ran past me and bumped into my arm. My phone had, was knocked on my hand and it stopped uh, at another man's feet. The fire trucks hadn't arrived yet, however, the man in a black trench coat seemed to summon a lot of people to help out the fire. He picked up my phone and left uh, with his left hand. Tell me to take this picture. Then he asked me in English uh, what my relationship was with her. There was no expression on his face uh, the entire time. After hearing my explanation, he tossed the phone back at me. Then he said, Come back here tomorrow. You know my sister. I walked up to him in excitement. But a huge man in black uh, suit stopped me. The man in the trench coat looked like he was, uh, wasn't going to answer my, any of my questions and turned his attention back uh, to his men at the fire. The guy in the suit seemed to be, uh, be twice my size. He looked down uh, upon me, and I could de see deep scar on his, uh, his face. Fine, I would come back tomorrow. Still, I never thought I would uh, find a clue about Alicia just like that. Uh, the Lord must have blessed me, uh, us. Sister must have. Uh, we would uh, see. You. See you soon. We'll meet again. Frank ear in round guess. I can't seem to get uh, it to work, no matter how I try. Am I stu just too stupid? It's not your fault. Sometimes, uh, something seems to be tied up over uh, there with Kang uh, back here. Uh, once you solve the problem over there, it might impact this one too. Huh, this is a thing too, huh? Occasionally we might not be able to solve it for the current uh, case because of some things that's happening somewhere else. That's the mechanic they're introducing now. Uh, whenever this occurs, you'll see an orange text uh, on, uh, in the letters. The appearance of orange text typically means um, that you will uh, need to consult other letters to handle this one. So basically, if there's an orange letter uh, text in the letter, I should go and check out some other letters first, right? Correct. Sometimes you might need to handle um, the other letters first. Other times you might just uh, it might just mean that you need to look for clues in other letters. In either case, it really d it depends on the letter. Uh, you'll have to use your own judgment. Uh, this, this doesn't happen too often, but if uh, you do occur, uh, encounter them, uh, make sure you take advantage of the hints uh, that let us help you. Got it. I'll have to go read uh, the letter from Kang Biakia uh, first. We have one from him first. Okay. You might have noticed that every... Uh, that every single time you open a letter, uh, you can see a number of small colored squares. Oh yes, what are those? The small squares uh, can be uh, one of three colors, yellow, pink, and gray. Some of them are solids, um, while some of them are empty. Squares representing uh, all the possible endings uh, for the events described in the specific letter. Solid ones are the stand for the endings that you have discovered, while the empty ones are the endings that uh, you've yet to reach. Of the solid squares, the yellow ones uh, one mark selected what endings, um, the ones that you've chosen at the moment. Which means the yellow squares can all, uh, can only be solid, uh, never empty. The solid pink squares are the other hand that represent endings you've discovered and not selected at the moment. Pink empty squares are the endings that you have not discovered yet. All the squares are strictly uh, arranged in order uh, of good, okay. Um, which can help you reference uh, to making your decision. Uh, what about the square squares? Square squares are more uh, 
may either be solid or empty, but are less in common. Sometimes the development of certain events may impact the other people uh, and things. For instance, this incident with uh, Chang uh, Giong was affected by the incident of Kang um, Kang Biak's side. Uh, that's why there's a grey square here. A grey square uh, means that in order uh, that the under current conditions, the, the possibility of this potential ending is happening is zero, or in layman's terms, it cannot happen. Once we solve the related pending problem, um, uh, the sit square will no longer be grey, meaning that the, it is now possible for us to reach this ending. Meanwhile, the previous endings uh, that we will reach will now turn grey instead. Confused. I understand it is a bit confusing uh, when I explain it to you like that. this. However, I believe once you have done with uh, Chang Giong's story, you'll figure out how it works. Got it. I'll give it a shot. I'll actually save it there. Um, thank you for stopping by. Hopefully, I'll see you on the next one. With that, goodbye.